Et du coup, voilà, on est arrivé là. Euh, je vais faire continuer, ce sera plus simple. Pan, I hope you're here, because I don't know where else to look for you. Of course I'm here, Grace. Where else would I be but among the vu? trees and the wild? Euh, I really must thank you, by the by. Ah non, c'était quand il nous a filé la quête. And he's already repaid me with this select tome from the reliquary. So you used me, all part of your trading favors thing? Of course. I used you, I used Asterian, you used Asterian, Asterian used you. Is this not the way mois. the world Merci, works? Why not just tell me what you were after? And risk nosy Hecate somehow digging it out. Une de vêtements pour bébé le 25 mois. <laughs> I trust you got what you needed. More grist for the mill of your essence, as it were. Non, 25 mois déjà, oui, ça. You already knew I would, right? Oh, did I? Come on, Pan. How stupid do you think I am? The place you sent me for this favor just happens to be where Calliope was attacked. You had to know I'd discover that. If you wanted me to know, why not just tell me? What's the angle? Tell me why I shouldn't be suspicious, Pan. You have no reason to be suspicious. I know... Ah, y'a plus son. I suppose the question at the heart of this is, do you believe me? Give me a reason to believe you, Pan. Quoi? Do you think I would hesitate to share it? Alas, it is my burden to be forever condemned by my idle brethren. I've become accustomed to it, truly. I never lied to you, Grace, and I never shall. If you're looking for innocence, however, <laughs> well, I'm afraid that's one thing I cannot provide. And if I can't accept that, grand chose. if I find out you're somehow involved in this, you'll do what you do, and I'll do what I do, and we'll see where that takes us. Le mec qui dirait qu'il sera faire joli. Mmh. Le mec qui il répond toujours à côté, quoi. That's my cue to go, isn't it? If you must. There are always alternatives, you know. You could live the high life, Grace. Throw caution to the wind. Embrace what you can before you... Uh... Uh... Before I die? Voilà. You don't have any hope for me, do you? You're just... Taking what you can get before it's over. You'll want to find Medusa, I suppose. She was at the reliquary, but you already knew that. You'll find Medusa at a dingy little club appropriately <laughs> named Medusa dans Nid Viper. Oui, d'accord. Give her my regards. But ouais. do be careful if you call on her grace. Medusa is a <laughs> non, mais ça va bien avec. hideous monster. And should be treated as such. Alors, on peut parler à tout le monde. Hein en plus, qu'ils ont vraiment des Ah, oh, Grace, you're back. That's good. I was just about to call you. Uh, he means he wants me to call you, because Paul here still hasn't figured out how to use a phone. That... That's not true. I know how, I just don't like them. They're confusing. Anyhow, I've been contemplating our list of suspects, and... I think Pan is someone we need to consider. Wait, wait, wait. You don't like phones? I... Uh, I just don't like talking to people I can't see. No, it's the ringtones. They scare the crap out of him, I kid you not. I'm not frightened. Only a child would be frightened. They're just... Je l'aime bien. Je me fais rire. Yeah. What? Can we return to the Oracle, Apollon. Please? Oui. Marron. 
Why Pan? I thought you'd rejected him as a suspect. Persephone did, but I've had time to think it over. Pan is a schemer, a traitor in favors. He always has been. His sudden appearance in all this cannot be coincidental. You think he could have killed Calliope after all? Perhaps. Or he knows who did and is trying to turn it to his benefit. He always knows more than he pretends. Let also, me offer an alternative to your pan theory. What about Medusa? Medusa? What have you been up to, Grace? Right, let me explain. Hmm. Well, if Asterion is right, then Medusa was at the reliquary at the same time as Calliope. I take it you intend to seek out Medusa. Sure. I have to know why <laughs> she was there. She could have been the one who attacked Calliope. And she very well could attack you. Medusa is unpredictable at best and dangerous at worst. Pan is, I believe, still worth looking into. He may even know something about Medusa. Aphrodite is holding a party of sorts, one you should attend. She is closest to Pan. Indeed, she knows almost all the idols. If anyone is up to something, she's bound to know. What do you mean by a party of sorts? I mean, I'm always down for Aphrodite a party. qui fait une fête, ouais. Um, Pardouze, quoi. Non, c'est ça. 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 Non, Well, talking to Aphrodite isn't something anyone does with much success these days. Well, if that's the case, what makes you think I'll get anywhere? There's a standing invitation for the muse to attend this party. Calliope never wins, so Aphrodite will be thrilled to see you. Trust me. If I thought you couldn't get her to talk, I wouldn't suggest it. Wouldn't it be better if I checked out Medusa instead? Trust me, this will be safer. Okay, so I have a choice. Okay. I'm not saying you are. I'm just suggesting you go to this party. Okay, so I should go in that sense. Okay, I'll go eventually. Perfect. I will see you there. Uh, Paul, you should see this. The names you wanted me to look up are getting. Il est marrant ce narrateur. On dirait une boîte à pizza. I don't doubt it. I was hoping you could. Get over here. Gala. No worries, Paul. Oui, je vois. Je vois ce que tu veux dire. T'as fait boîte à pizza ouverte. Ah, mais en fait, oui, ça me enlève pas la petite off euh... quand euh... bon, on va à la fête d'Aphrodite. Fancy party, check. Hundred strangers, check. Grace totally not dressed for the occasion, check. Now, if only I knew what I was supposed to be doing here. Grace, you made it. I'm so glad. I was beginning to wonder. You didn't say this was a fancy party. I feel a little underdressed. Grace, look at okay, me. Okay, didn't she? I didn't even button up my shirt. It's fine. <laughs> Why is everyone so quiet? You think someone died? <laughs> I, I should have told you about this earlier. I've been putting it off. Mm. You're cute when you're all angsty. You get this little crinkle in your forehead. <laughs> you might not think I'm so cute after I explain. You don't have any of Calliope's memories, right? No déjà vu recollections that aren't your own. No. Should I have? Not right away. For a while, you won't remember anything. We call it the veil. In time, the veil will start to lift, slowly at first, but eventually you'll remember almost everything Calliope did. That's got to be a lot of memories. She was, what, a thousand years old? More than that. Much more. Then what happens to me in my piddly 20-something years? It can't be good. Eventually, it's like a flood. 
it becomes difficult to separate what's you and okay. what's them, and all who came before them. Ça aurait été bien de prévenir. You're saying I won't be me. I won't be Grace. Will I start calling myself Calliope? Maybe. Eventually, most of us do, but most of us were chosen and prepared. <laughs> and I didn't choose this. I understand. Take some time to let it sink in. If you like, du coup, ça explique toujours pas c'est quoi la fête. Voilà. What does this have to do with the party? Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> Aphrodite hasn't been the same since we came to the New World. She has horrific memories of what she endured during the war. Passing on her idol on as a way to forget for a while. That's what this party is for. When you say she's gonna pass on her idol on, you mean she's going to die, yes. And pass her soul on to a chosen successor. In front of everyone? We're here to help, Grace. To make it easier for Aphrodite to do what she feels she must. We're here to say goodbye. At least for a while. Super, la fête. Do you this support what Aphrodite is doing here? It's not my choice to make, Grace. Yeah, but you must have an opinion. Eventually you will remember what we experienced during the war. And eventually you will remember that what Aphrodite experienced was far worse. If this is the mercy she requires, I will not tell her she should not take it. This isn't the first time Aphrodite's done this. She's held this kind of gathering before, right? This is her fourth, I think. Perhaps fifth. So every time the veil, whatever you call it, when it starts to lift... Aphrodite's memories return, and eventually it is too much. We gather to pay our respects and to honor the past. Well, she still remembers it. Wait, wait, wait. Calliope refused to come to these parties. That's what you said. She refused on principle. Everything Calliope did was on principle. She believed Aphrodite was indulging her sadness, wallowing in it. She thought Aphrodite should try harder. It was a point of contention between them. Aphrodite will be grateful you're here. Trust me. Okay, so yeah. what did Aphrodite want Calliope to do? What does she want me to do? Well, knowing Aphrodite, she'll want you to make a production of it all. She's not here just yet. Until she arrives, I suggest... T'es là pour chanter, hein, t'es une muse. Mingling. Yeah, mingling. Talk to Eros. Or we can talk more if you like. Just try to relax, Grace. Sure, yeah, relax. That's what this party is for, right? J'aime bien ce son. Et il est heureux lui aussi. Grace. Hey Eros, nice to. Oh, okay. Aphrodite will be so happy you're here. It means so much. You have no idea. Are you okay? You seem a bit... For every time she does this, I don't know how to handle it. I almost want to run upstairs and demand she stop. Remind her that this never works. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't unload on you. It's, it's, it's been a bad week. From the sounds of it, this happens a lot. Every 20 years or so. That's how long she can hold out until... Until she just can't stand it anymore. Every time, Aphrodite forgets. At least for a while. But I don't. I remember everything. I'm there for the nightmares, the panic attacks, the days she doesn't even remember the war's over. And now I'm arranging her gathering again. So she can die. Again. And I'll watch it all. Again. 
Is there no other way? Does Aphrodite really need to... To die? I've asked that so many times. She's tried magic, drugs, psychotherapy, meditation, everything we could possibly think of. For a while, she'll deny anything's wrong. It all seems fine, and I start to hope. Maybe this time will be different. Then the nightmares begin, and the memories return. More with each passing day, until... I hate it, but I see her agony. I can't deny her this. Is it okay if I ask what happened? I don't mean to pry, but I'm new. I, I really don't know. I know, but it happened to Aphrodite, not me. It's not my story to tell. Okay. If I know what she was dealing with, I'm, I might be able to help. Could you? I suppose it wouldn't hurt. What happened is that brother Ares happened. He missed out on the first world-spanning war, you see. So he was damned if he'd miss out on the next one. He found some jack-booted mortals so full of themselves and their supremacy. And he told them about the idols. Then they came for us. Took us completely by surprise. <laughs> Super. Some they killed, but Aphrodite. Her they captured. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Aphrodite was captured, but she's here now. So she must have escaped. She didn't. Do you know the name Hephaestus? Oh, wasn't he a smith of some kind? Giant hammer lived in a mountain? Some of that is mortal fancy, but yes. He was Aphrodite's husband, and he adored her beyond reason. When he found out the mortals were torturing her, he went mad. He was determined to save her. They, they tortured her? Nothing extreme, I'm told. They were too frightened, but they were also determined to wring every last secret out of her. So, who knows how long that fear would have lasted. Thus, Hephaestus made a deal. With the, um, jackbooted guys? No. With their enemies. That's what saved her. Then this deal is how Aphrodite survived. It's how we all survived. It's what brought us to the new world. Hephaestus saved us all. We never saw him again. That was the deal. He would leave, make their precious weapons, and never look back. Aphrodite never even got to say goodbye. It's funny, because Aphrodite didn't even like Hephaestus when they were married. She seemed Super. to resent every minute they were together. Comme tu dis, sacré famille. But now, mm -hmm. now he's all she can think about. Maybe I just don't understand, but isn't this like suicide? Some of the idols have committed suicide. They let themselves die without passing on their idol on. What happens? What you'd expect. They're gone. Forever. Mother says she can't do that. She won't. Not until she sees Hephaestus again, I suspect. Not that what's happening here is anything casual. She... She still has to die for a while. What is my part in all of this? I'll help if I can. Aphrodite loves drama. She always has. She wants us here to... Well, to remember. To celebrate our history. She'll ask you to use your power as part of the celebration. But could you use it to inspire her? I can't force anyone to do anything they don't want to, Eros. That's not what I'm asking. I believe that deep down, she doesn't want to do this any longer. She must see it isn't working. She just needs the strength to... to try. 
Oh, I hope that's all she needs. Il va pas falloir que je me plante dans les paroles. I'll try, if you think it'll do some good. I don't know if it will. I just find it hard to believe it could get any worse. Tu me connais pas encore, Eros, c'est pour ça. Famous last words. <laughs> Tell me about it. Do whatever you think is right, Grace. And... Thank you. I know all these people, Grace. For as long as I can remember, I've known them. Yet sometimes I feel like I don't know any of them at all. Or they me. You don't enjoy these family gatherings, do you? Are they family gatherings? Like the sort mortals have? You call each other sister and brother and mother. <laughs> oh, yes, but... And you've been together like a hundred times longer than I lived with my family. All you're missing is a drunk uncle everyone has to apologize for. Um, that would be Pan. But yes, I feel very much out of place. Why come at all? You don't have to see other idols, do you? Well, there's the chorus, and we're not allowed to leave the city. Other than that, avoiding everyone was the plan. Until a certain someone made me sing. Oops. I spoke to Eros. He's pretty broken up over all this. Oh, poor Eros. Each new successor, his hopes rise up once more. And then he watches the new Aphrodite crumble, piece by piece, only to start all over again. It's so different from the olden days. Once he was the eternal disaster, and Aphrodite kept constant vigil over him. Maybe he feels like he owes her. I think he's followed her into a dark void, and somewhere deep down, believes he deserves no better. C'est la joie de vie cette famille. Allez, Aphrodite. My family, having you all here, gathered once again to see me off, it moves me more than I can say. My loves, my darlings, my dearest friends, and you. Oh, my dear sweet thing, I dare not hope that you, with all your troubles, might sing me to my sleep. Yet here you are. Yet here she is. Huh. It's lovely to meet you, Aphrodite. Properly, this time. Ah, oh, yes. Poor Calliope. Such a loss to us all. I shall miss her dearly. To have come so far, only... No, it doesn't bear thinking about. <laughs> it's too much. Is this Grace, my lady? The new muse? Oh! What manners I have. Grace, Grace, meet the lovely mortal woman who shall tonight become the new me. Hi, my name's Venus, and yes, it really is Venus. Nice to meet you, Grace. Yeah, hi, and nice to meet you. We'll both be new at this, huh? Maybe we could uh, get together and compare notes if you, uh... Survive my trial? Yeah, Lady Aphrodite told me... I shouldn't have brought that up. I'm sorry. There will be so much time for you, lovelies, to speak later. Now, we must prepare for my departure. Je suppose qu'il y a une défunte humeur, en fait. Maybe. Are you sure we can't talk first? I really need your help, Aphrodite. I know you do, my dear. I wish I could be there for you, but I'm afraid my time is up. But since you've shown such kindness in coming, I will ask Eros to make himself available to you afterwards. 
There's nothing I know that he does not. He is my son, my truest friend, my longest love. Won't he be... a little distracted? Eros has been through this before, Grace. He knows what must be done. Um, I have to admit, it's, it's not clear what my part in all this is supposed to be. How could it be? You've barely just arrived, darling girl. How did you even find darling out about girl. it? That would be my doing. <laughs> Apollo! Oh, you've come after all. You look remarkably well, cousin. I've had a great deal of time to prepare. I assure you that would not be the case. <laughs> As for you, Grace, have you gathered the true purpose of tonight's gathering? If I had to guess, it's to remember. One last time before all your memories go away. Each time the veil lifts, it leaves behind a little less. For me, old Olympus is long forgotten. The glory of Rome, a distant dream. Mm. I hope that one day the veil will lift and what happened during the war will also slip into oblivion. But it hasn't. Thus, for now we honor the memory of what was. Lest tomorrow it be gone forever. Go, enjoy the gathering, Grace. Tell me when you're ready to begin. <laughs> okay. Broke us away. What's that? I want to apologize again, Grace. I really messed up. It looks like I'll be doing that a lot. Lady Aphrodite said I'm ready, but I don't know. Being a god isn't something you can really be ready for. Right, well. I mean, they, you, are not gods, though, are you? Not really. You don't think so? To me, you all just seem like people. Special people, sure, but flawed and lost, like the rest of us. If... if I can ask, what does it feel like? After it happened, do you feel... different? <sighs> I was so scared at the time, I didn't know what to think. I had no idea who Calliope ah. really was. Chatoun, tu veux venir? Elle est bien. Elle est bien, Chatoun. Her? Who she was? She was just gone? Yeah. Isn't that the point of all this? I just wanted to be sure. Sometimes it doesn't seem like it could be real. How do you know Aphrodite exactly? <laughs> So I was working at this homeless shelter, right? A couple of years ago, and she came in with one of the older residents. And she was there in this, like, amazing dress. And she's sitting with this guy and really listening to him. Like, they were old friends or something. I just thought, what is someone like her doing in a place like this? So, I just went over and introduced myself. That's it? Just like that. <laughs> Yeah, she came back to the shelter a few times, but by then, I guess she'd taken an interest in me instead. Your name's really Venus, huh? Everybody asks me that. Even the other idols. Maybe that's why Lady Aphrodite noticed me in the first place. She says it was fated to be. I say it's because my mama was a diehard hippie. <laughs> Are you really okay with all this? You know what's gonna happen, right? I saw a lot of people in crisis at the shelter. I knew something was wrong with Lady Aphrodite. She's in so much pain, Grace. She won't let you see how much. Eros called me one night desperate. She wouldn't stop screaming. She didn't know where she was. She... She's a good person, Grace. 
a good soul. Hey. She deserves mercy. Après, tu me diras quand elle a été torturée, je comprends quoi. But don't you feel this is wrong? I mean, you're ending your life. It's like some kind of murder suicide pact. I don't think of it like that. Lady Aphrodite is not committing suicide, and I'm not being murdered. Aren't you? Your life is ending. It's being taken over, swallowed up by Aphrodite's grief. I'm becoming part of something bigger, something amazing. Or maybe you're right. It'll be terrible, and I'll end up in so much pain I'll regret it. So why go through with it? Because Lady Aphrodite needs me. Maybe, just maybe, if I'm added into the mix of all the people she's been, maybe things will be different. Allez, on va commencer le rituel. C'est parti. Voyons voir ce qui se passe. I have tried so hard. Fought for so long. But in the end, I must bid you all farewell once again. But before I go, I would like us all to remember the sacrifices that brought us here to this strange new world. This time, <rire> it is with the help of our lovely muse that we will be guided. We let them rise. We let it happen. We waited far too long. We thought we shouldn't intervene, but we were wrong. Since the beginning we were hidden We held court from up above T'was the golden age of wisdom In thine queen of love But a plague of hate was spreading And there were vultures standing by Before we fell to our knees begging We fell from the sky we let them rise, we let it happen. We waited far too long. We thought we shouldn't intervene. We were wrong, we were wrong. We sought shelter from the shadows, but were soon ripped from the tide. Those mortal souls that ended us jealous from the start they hunted me for power to fuel their psychopathic cult and once they bow before me and worship all i was they chased me down and threw me in a cage held me prisoner for so long i thought So my captors let me go He gave up his freedom leaving just a memory And this love I'll never know is why 
Forgive the rivers too deep. Its reflection won't lie. So just let me sleep. I can let go of what could have been lost in a moment, lost in a song, lost in a moment, lost in a song. Side, now I no longer see the purpose of love when it tears at the center of me. My arrows are rusty, forget the bow, but I won't be begging you not to go. But when you're away, you leave us a broken heart. Bon bah j'ai foiré on dirait. Mother, is it true? You've chosen to live. Ah bah non, j'ai réussi. En gros non, c'est pas qu'elle avait faim de l'immortalité. C'est pas qu'elle avait marre de l'immortalité. C'est que en fait au bout d'un moment, les souvenirs de l'idole reprennent le dessus sur la personnalité. Donc elle se souvient à chaque fois de ce qu'elle a vécu durant la Seconde Guerre mondiale. Elle est capturée et torturée. Et que son mari s'est sacrifié pour elle. Et donc en fait, tous les 20, 20 ans, en gros, elle se suicide pour donner 
l'âme à une autre, un autre humain parce que le temps de la transmission, les souvenirs ne reviennent pas. Et, et Rose, comme c'est son fils, il avait marre de vivre ça. Bien résumé, je crois, Céfa. Oui, moi. Oui, c'est horrible parce qu'en plus, quand tu parlais avec Rose, tu apprends ce qu'elle a vécu et tout ça. Et en fait, elle a été capturée. Alors, je ne sais pas si c'est par les nazis ou par les japonais. La façon dont il le raconte dans d'autres histoires, c'est les nazis. D'accord. Et donc, du coup, en fait, Ephaisto s'est descendu de sa montagne et il a passé un marché avec les alliés pour la sauver. En fait, il leur filait des armes, mais il disparaissait. Ou la bombe, la bombe, la bombe nucléaire et tout ça. Et, euh, et donc, euh, voilà. Et donc là, Eros voulait que tu l'aides à empêcher sa mère de se suicider encore une fois pour transmettre son âme à une autre mortelle. Nobody definite, no, but I've narrowed the list of who it could be. Oh, how's that? For one, it had to be someone who had access to the reliquary. Two, it had to be someone who could do it right under the noses of Hecate and the Minotaur. Medusa was there, but I'm not sure she got inside. And are either of those things true for her? Calliope came to see us that night. She was agitated, frightened even, but she wouldn't explain why. She said she had a... Et t'avais raison, ces phases de musique étaient magnifiques. It must have been the reliquary. A plan? A plan for what? What could she find at the reliquary that would help her? Maybe she wanted a weapon. Something to defend herself with. But she got inside and didn't take anything. How odd. Hecate must be beside herself with annoyance. I'm afraid I can't offer much help, Grace. If you have access to the reliquary, I certainly do not, and I don't know who does. If Medusa was there, I'd ask her why and how. There are always motives lurking within her motives. Come now, Mother. It's time you rested. It's been a long night. Hmm. If I don't, I suppose you'll both gang up on me again. Hmm. Very well. So, did they have anything helpful? I see. Then you still intend to seek her out. I have to. How else will I find out what she knows? Uh, I still don't like it. Athena employs Medusa as a spy master of sorts. She works from the shadows. I don't actually know where she is. But it won't be a simple matter. You should probably ask around. Are you all right, Grace? You seem troubled. What Aphrodite went through, it, it's a lot. Yeah, that's the funny thing about the life of an immortal. It never ends. Wow. Way to really sell it, Apollo. You really are amazing, you know that? Every hurdle, every piece of unpleasant news, you just keep on going. I don't know how you do it. It kind of helps that I don't have a choice. I just wish I could see the world through your eyes. Next to you, I feel very... old. Ah. Ouais, là tu peux péter la romance. Tu peux la continuer. Allez, on va la continuer à voir. Let me show you the world I see. A tempting offer. Sounds kind of corny, huh? It really doesn't. 
I would love that. Can we go now? Hey, I'm game if you are. My hand on your neck. Let your head down for a second. There's so much to like if you open your eyes. If you try to search for the light, you might be surprised. No, it's not hard to find the courage you need to be joyful is something you build over time no matter what i do the answers Yet I've been alive for too long A thousand years of learning about what could go wrong I'm tired of being wrong Apollo, I'm sure you've had it rough A thousand years of life is hard But easier with someone like me to lean on I appreciate the campaign come help you If I ever let her know No matter what I do The answer's in me The answer's in me Courage you need to be joyful It's something you build over time No matter what I do The answer's in me I will be here for the ride. On est déjà au jour 4. Putain, il faut que je me vanne, il me reste plus que 3 jours, je crois. C'est 7 jours que j'avais, c'est ça, hein, je crois, Cefa. J'ai perdu Cefa. Oui, c'est ça. <rire> This must be the Viper's Nest. Scariest part of town, no sign. Just that. One dude glaring at everyone. Well, I'm here now. Just another day in the life of an idol. Oh, there you are. Man, this place <laughs> is the worst. I think someone peed on me. Frank? Oh, putain. What are you doing here? <laughs> What, you thought I wouldn't notice you skulking off? You didn't even bring any equipment. Putain, que ça masse derrière. Freddy, please tell me you don't think you're some kind of adventurer. I'm sorry, are you not about to head mm. into a monster's lair at great personal peril? What else would you call that? <laughs> You're such a dork. I adore you. <laughs> Good, because I'm not about to let you wander in there without backup. Who knows, maybe the stuff I know about Medusa might actually apply. Well, that'd be a switch. Okay, I'll bite. What do you know about Medusa? Uh, well, you know, she was human once, right? And she was cursed? Apollo mentioned it, yeah. Cursed by Athena. Or so one of the stories goes, anyway. But doesn't she work for Athena? Hey, don't look at me. My knowledge of this stuff stops at a few thousand years ago. She was once human, but she's definitely a monster, right? Yeah, yeah one of the worst. But you know, so was vrai que le Minotaur, on a une surprise. Starian said she was scary. I have a feeling she's not like him. Oui. Mm. Then I guess you need to be prepared for the possibility that she is as bad as the legends say. Though some of the stories also say that she was wronged by Athena and that what was done to her was an injustice. And Athena just follows the rules, right? Do you think she actually turns people to stone? Let's hope not, or this could be a short visit. Or a really, really long one. I'm serious! Perseus used a mirror to reflect Medusa's gaze back at her. Well, maybe you could use your phone. <sighs> you think that would work? 
Unless you brought a mirror, Grace, it's all you got. Okay, enough talking. Time to do this. Uh, you have a plan for how we're getting inside, I hope? Maybe. You're here to help? <laughs> Always. Then I have a plan. Hi, uh, this is for the comic convention, right? I hope I'm not too late for the signing. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm afraid you had the wrong address. What? No. Oh, God. No. No, that can't be right. Do you understand the indignities that I have endured? The weird looks, the body odors? Someone spilled coffee all over my cosplay outfit. I, uh... No, so no, do not tell me that I'm I got it wrong. I spent $50 I on around. this ticket. I demand my personal... Oh, putain, mais Freddy, elle est complètement barge. <laughs> Medusa, listen, stop, I'm warning you. This is something you don't want to do. Tell me more about me, look at you. A prime sashimi with opinions, too. Medusa, listen, I'm warning you. Yes, keep on warning me. There's no rewinding, it's something you can't undo. Can't undo. It's kind of the point, lovely. Now, Questions or comments? <laughs> That's right, it is widely known that I can turn folks to stone. But no, I won't this time. Because this time I find dine that oozy musy bloods my wine this time. <laughs> Look into me. Oh, she's looking away. Hey! She mad. She said I'd been bad. Had you been? No. Now look into me. Listen. 
Medusa, please. Athena hides you, she's ashamed of you. But she profits all the same from you. If she'd done that to me, I'd be like you. You could never. If I'd been damaged in a way that you can't undo. You're not a killer. I know. Wait. So you know oh. that it's true that I didn't do it. No. Yes, you do know. You know. Does that mean Athena knows? No. Okay. It's dinner time now. You're not gonna look. Fine, great. Don't you see, Medusa? You are just her toy. You queens a user. You're True. Athena's fool. A half a Good again, you three. He's a friend to me. Maybe what? Did I miss something? Is she serious? <laughs> that depends. What do you think, Medusa? Will you help me out? Oh, adore, adore oh, fine. fine. What exactly is it that you want, pretty muse? You were at the reliquary the night Calliope was fonce. murdered. Hmm? I want to know why. Yes, yes, this is mm. why I didn't tell Lady Athena. I knew it would come back to haunt me. I only followed pretty Calliope to the reliquary. I never spoke to her, never even caught up to her. I swear it. That's what Asterion told us, more or less. But you were there that night. Yes, yes, I admit it. Ugh, Lady Athena will have my head. She'll mount it on a pike. Whatever you might think of me, I had no part in the muse's death. I did not even know she'd been attacked until I saw her fleeing. You followed Calliope to the reliquary. Why were you shadowing her at all? I am Lady Athena's spymaster, yes. Calliope has been trouble from time to time. La position de Fred derrière quoi. I keep watch over every idol who no longer lives in Olympus, but especially Calliope. When I realized she was headed to the reliquary that eve, I followed. I had a duty to Athena. Did you ever find out why Calliope went there? I was never close enough to ask. When I drew near to the reliquary, that is when I saw the muse fleeing. She was frightened. Bloodied. Dying. Let me guess, that made you hungry. I gave chase, yes, but to discover the truth. I knew Lady Athena would wish to know. That does make sense from your perspective. I didn't learn the truth until later. And then it was far too late. Asterion said he caught up with you out in the fog. Is that right? I thought he was the one who had attacked her. He is a great beast, a traitor. He killed Hecate's cat by accident. But this still seems hard to believe. Yes, I only realized my mistake once I caught up to him, and by then the muse was gone. And you never found her afterwards? I thought she might flee to her pretty home, or to the sharp and prickly Persephone. She did neither. Yeah, she came to see me. Why should we believe you? You did just try to eat me, remember? I agreed to help you. I speak the truth. Right, and not at all trying to cover your own ass. You presented an opportunity. Oh, to taste the sweet, sweet blood of a hero once again. Uh, it, it's a problem. I've been working on it, I really have. Uh-huh. Well, what of Pan? The only reason I knew Calliope was going to the reliquary is because he informed me. So much for never lying to me. What were the odds, honestly? Let's uh, put a pin in that for the moment, shall we? 
I am a monster. It's true. I do not deny it. But still, I did not kill the muse. You haven't told Athena any of this? You agreed to help, remember? I, I told her Calliope was at the reliquary that night. I did not tell her I was also there. Why not? Wouldn't Athena find out from Hecate anyway? No, I, I, I was not thinking clearly. I panicked. I... Lady Athena barely tolerates my presence as it is. If she thought I was involved in any way, if she even suspected... Okay, let's say we believe you, for the moment. I've told you everything I know. We have a bargain. You said my curse might be lifted. I'll ask Apollo. That's all I can do. Whatever you do, pretty muse, I beg you. Do not tell Athena of my indiscretion. Show mercy. I know what I am horrifies you. It horrifies me as well. I cannot help what I am. I did not ask to be cursed like this. Sure. Whether I tell Athena depends. But will they admit it? Have you done this before? Well, I... Don't you think Athena should know what her spy master is like? No, she cannot. I am a lost and cursed thing. <laughs> no idol. If Lady Athena should learn the truth, I... I hope you find what you seek, pretty muse. And that we meet again someday. And sing a different song. C'est quand même, il y a quand même, c'est quand même vache. Enfin, chaque personnage a quand même une histoire vachement triste. Aphrodite plus que les autres, mais. He knew. Right from the start, Pan knew Calliope was there that night. Yeah, and who could have foreseen that he was lying to you the entire time? Who, I ask you, a mystery even the Oracle couldn't have penetrated. Putain, la connaisse. Yes, yes, fine, you were right, Freddy, as always. Ha! See, was that so hard? Anyhow, you probably have a few questions for Mr. Goatman. I'll see you at home. <laughs> Would you really have tried to burn Medusa's face off with an aerosol can? <laughs> Hell yeah! One hit of googly eyes and... <laughs> what would I do without you? Huh? You'll never need to answer that question, Grace. Bon, et Freddy, c'est quand même le best, persona best personnage du jeu, quoi. En fait, ça va être elle la meurtrière, je dois redire ce que j'ai dit. Père. Right from the start, you knew Calliope was there that night. Well, yes. C'est quoi Évident, c'est bon, voyons. I told you I didn't know what happened to Calliope, and that's the truth. I did not. <laughs> so I nudged you in the right direction. Why? Is there some reason you need to know what happened to Calliope? Is that so strange? Don't we all desire non, justice? You sent me to the reliquary <laughs> because you wanted <laughs> justice. Medusa learned that Calliope was going to the reliquary because I told her. Now, before you say anything, I had no idea of the fate awaiting our dear muse. And you yourself said Medusa was not responsible. I simply had to know if I, if I'd inadvertently, rather innocently... Sold her out? She came to you for help, and you gave her whereabouts to the highest bidder. I am trying to help Grace, in my way. What do you What do you mean, in my way? What is what What way is that? Uh, the way where I don't take all the blame. What else will I discover, Pan? I'd rather learn it now than later. 
I wish I could tell you, Grace. I truly do. Cinq. J'avance pas. Je vais mourir. Oh, t'es là quand les gens meurent, qu'est-ce que tu fous là C'est mon nom. Où est Freddy Elle est allée pour aller voir les stats. Nous allions regarder la TV pendant que nous attendions, mais... Bon, là, vous êtes. Attendez. Vous étiez en train de me chercher Tout le monde, oui. Athena m'a envoyé me trouver, mais ce n'était pas facile. Oui, vous devriez être en train de travailler. Oui, parce que je suis en train de faire bientôt. Oui. Oui, ça fait du sens. En tout cas, je pense que Athena veut parler. Je peux nous envoyer à l'Olympus à tout moment, si vous êtes libre. Donc, c'est ce que vous faites Les gens de fairy sont autour Je suis le dieu des messengers, bébé Travelers, doorways, any kind of transition, really. The old Hermes said that the transition part made even more sense for me, which, you know, extra cool, right? Yeah, that's true. I can connect any two doorways anywhere, just like that. So it's super easy to take people wherever. I don't mind. Do I have a choice about seeing Athena? I'm not in the habit of being at anyone's beck and call. I mean, I guess you can say no, but I wouldn't. If Athena wants something, she's gonna get it eventually. She had that look in her eyes, like she really wants to talk to you. She could always come here. Everyone else does. Athena entered the mortal world? <laughs> And now she doesn't do that ever. Can you imagine? You say it's easy, but do you like doing all these errands? Huh. Yeah, I never thought about it. It's nice to have a purpose. Athena is super sweet, and she has a big, important job. Why wouldn't I want to help oh, her? Oh, she can't avoir. be this nice. Are you for real? Oh, well, the old Hermes used to say that a willingness to serve is more important than a willingness to be served. You mentioned the old Hermes a lot. You knew him? Yeah, I was homeless for a while. It wasn't a great time, and he took me in. Everyone's on the same journey, he used to say. Only the roads are different. And then he went on his journey. Man, I still miss him every day. Isn't he still inside you? Aren't you kind of the same person now? Mm, not yet. It's only been a year. Maybe I'll feel him again one day. That'd be nice. How does Athena manage never entering the mortal world? She doesn't have to, I guess. Everyone brings her everything she needs. And that creepy owl of hers? Apollo says it's her eyes out in the world. It's everywhere. Watching. So what, she just never leaves the building? Ah, uh, she'll go to the reliquary and places like that. Just never where mortals are. She wears a toga and calls cars iron horses. <laughs> yeah. I suppose I should go off. Do your thing. Take me to Olympus. Okay. Oh, uh, when you see Freddy, tell her I'm sorry I couldn't stick around for the movie. And mind if I say something? Sure. You've changed. I mean, from the person I met when I first came here. When, you know, you got it together really quick. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Ouais. Deux jours, je suis mort, donc tu parles. Super. Revenir chez toi. Bien. Allez. Ah. Ah, il me demande pourquoi de choisir. Ah, c'est un deuxième que tu choisis, d'accord. Allez. There you are, Grace. Do have a seat. Ouais. C'est ça, ouais. 
prendre dans le tas vivants. Make it harder in the end. I am sorry, Grace. You may not believe it, but I care deeply. I care about what happens to you and to all the idols. Hmm. Ah. Like you care about Medusa? She lives like that because you cursed her. Have you even tried to undo it? I'm betting not, because she's useful like this, and that's where your caring ends. Zeus was the first to leave. King of the gods. And we don't even know what became of him. Vanished into the ether. Poseidon was next, walked out into the seas, <laughs> never to be des eaux, compliqué. Ares betrayed us. Hephaestus saved us. Hades was murdered, and by one of our own. The list goes on. So you add to it. I show up and you kill me off because Putain, you cette phrase est too too careful. We are dying, Grace. I don't mean diminishing or drifting apart. I mean our immortality is disappearing. Very soon now, the idols will be no more. We are a legacy that spans millennia, dating back to the very dawn of humankind. So yes, I care. I will do anything and everything in my power to avoid that fate, even if it appears unfair. No, it's too bad. <laughs> I've been an idol for five minutes, and I've been out there solving problems you've all wrestled with for how long now? I could have helped you, Athena. I could have helped all of you. But you don't see that, do you? You're so busy holding on to what you have. You can't see what you're throwing away. I know we've put a great deal on your shoulders, Grace. I do. All I called you here to ask is that you please not make my job more difficult than it already is. If you have any other questions or concerns, now's the time to bring them up. What do you know of Pan? Pan? That's not a name I expected to hear. Been sniffing around you, has he? I have some suspicions, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Pan lurks at the edges because he likes it there, seeking out whatever profit he thinks he can get away with. <laughs> Avoid him, dear, or he'll stick to you like gum to the bottom of your shoe. Okay, so you don't like Pan much. I get that. But do you think he could kill someone? We've all killed, my dear. I was once a warrior queen, feared by mortals and gods alike. A another idol, I mean. Is that where your investigation has led you? To Pan? Sort of, but I feel like I'm missing something important. Maybe the goddess of wisdom could help me out? It would be helpful to know what Calliope was doing at the reliquary, but... She's not available to ask. Elle dit ça avec un sourire. Not until you regain her memories, at least. Why not put off the trial mm. until then? 
Seems like a good way to solve all this. Yeah? <laughs> and trust what you decide to share? I think not. Who has access to the reliquary? Is it anyone with a key, or...? Does it matter? You gained access, so clearly it is not difficult to get. Speaking of which, I don't suppose you'll tell me who gave you that key. Gave it to me? Athena, I had that key all along. You what? It's just like you thought. I used it to attack Calliope that night. Then I brought her back home to finish her off. A mortal with a plan, baby. Stole my way into God. Merde, j'aurais pas dû répondre ça. That's not funny, Grace. Ah, bon. What's funny is that you thought I'd tell you without getting anything in return. Speaking of the reliquary, you went there, right? What? told you what happened? If you had known about that, the night Calliope died, would it have made a difference? The chances are exceedingly small that you attacked her there, it's true. Yet, Calliope was weakened, which made her more vulnerable prey for an enterprising mortal. One she knew. Perhaps the incidents are connected, perhaps not. I cannot afford the risk of uncertainty, Grace. I'm sorry. All right, let's talk about Medusa. Again, if you wish. What of her? Was I right? That you haven't even tried to undo the curse that you inflicted on her? I wish I could remove the curse. I'm afraid the Athena who bestowed it is long gone. She was prideful, that Athena. As prideful as she was powerful, I'm ashamed to say. The current Athena is responsible for everything she's done. I am well aware, Grace. What is it that you would have me do, exactly? How about deal with her? Make it so she can't hurt anyone else. Perhaps you're right. I've been too lenient with Medusa over the years. Non, c'est pas ça que j'ai dit. And it's time that ended. Now, if there isn't anything else... C'est pas ça que je voulais dire. I guess I'll get back to my investigation. I am rooting for you, Grace. If there's another way to resolve this, any way at all, I will take it. Will you? Really? Good luck. Feel free to take a cookie on your way out. Pee. Oh. No, I can't say I'm surprised. Athena has always struggled mm. in a crisis. Well, that's a nice way of putting it. Remember, she was a warrior. When pressed, she's always turned to that aspect, sought to maintain absolute control. It'd be hypocritical to say it's wrong of her. She's battled for me as much as for anyone. Do you think she's telling the truth about the idols dying out? Yes, though I find it odd she chose to tell you. Maybe Athena thought, who'd believe Grace if she blabbed about it anyway? Sadly, while I'd prefer to stay in her good graces, I doubt that will be possible. Uh-oh. What now? You may not like this, but you need to go back to the reliquary. You know, Athena said something to me. That it'd be nice to know what Calliope was doing there in the first place. As usual, you're way ahead of me. It's the only piece of the puzzle we're missing. Calliope went there because she had a plan. But what plan? If she left clues behind, wouldn't Hecate have found them already? That's a really good question. Remember how I told you it'd be years before you got Calliope's memories back? Well, it's true, but not entirely. Okay. Those memories are inside you. You go somewhere important to Calliope or touch something special to her, you will get flashes feelings do you want grace to go to the reliquary so she can have deja vu whatever happened to calliope there it ended her life all we need to do is uncover those memories 
Last time Freddy and I were there, Hecate wouldn't let us into the reliquary. Not without Athena's permission. Okay. Do you want to ask Athena for permission? It just seems like a radical step. For you. A week ago, I would have said that breaking into the reliquary couldn't be done. A week ago, I couldn't have imagined being here. My stance on a lot of things has changed. If you have another idea, however, I'm happy to go along with it. What about the alarms? I'm not eager to have Asterion chasing me through the fog. Calliope snuck in without setting off any alarms. I waste her first. Well, I'll be following in Calliope's footsteps, won't I? What if I follow the wrong footstep and set them off? Then the alarms bringing Asterion and Hecate and all three of us do a great deal of apologizing. Let's just hope that's all those alarms do. Are you sure about this? You want me to wander around hoping something comes to me? Am I sure? No. No, I'm not. Oh, that's comforting. What if Medusa is lying? What about Pan? We could look into him some more, couldn't we? Oh, well, do you have a way we could look into those things without encountering even more lies? <sighs> Deja vu it is. Let's say I do this. What am I hoping to find? Some memory of what happened to Calliope, even a flash. Anything that gives us something to work with. And if that doesn't happen? Make it happen, Grace. As if your life depends oui, on bien it. Sûr. Sure. I can really see why the idols call you the cheery one. Mm. I'm sorry, but why um. is she here again? Is there really no other way? <laughs> this seems a bit desperate. I think that's kind of the point, Grace. There isn't much time left, and I'm out of ideas that won't take more time than we have. Well, there's always running, right? Grace leaves the city, goes on a world tour, becomes rich and famous. It's just me. Okay, then. Right, then. Back to the reliquary it is. Hey, reliquary again. Really how you want to do this, Grace? Because I'm game to help. Cool. I'm sure we can figure something out. I can't go into the reliquary with you, not without tipping off Hecate, but I won't be far. If I get the slightest sense that something has gone wrong, I am coming in. Still, promise me you won't take risks. I'll try. Ugh, can we just get on with this already? <laughs> Ça peut marcher, être honnête et quitter, mais comme elle l'accord de l'autre à chaque fois. Wait, are you sure this is right? Was that the right door? You're asking me like I'm supposed to know? It just feels like we're back outside again. Maybe that was some kind of portal or. Or maybe we're right where we're supposed to be. Then we should be careful. Remember what the Minotaur said? Alarms. Magical defenses. None of which killed Calliope, we think. But you're... I hear you. How do we avoid getting lost? It's like... a labyrinth. Oh, it is a labyrinth, but I've never had any trouble finding my way around. Hey, easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, no need to freak out. I'm a guardian, <laughs> sure, but I'm not a monster. But, um, yeah, you know you're not supposed to be in here, right? I seem to recall that we did you a huge favor the last time we were here. Yeah, for Pan, but I already... You didn't get what you wanted, but it was still better than having it eat you up inside, right? I, I know, I know, but... So you couldn't make an exception just this one little time? Hecate doesn't need to know. I... No, I need to bring you back to Kate. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so, so sorry. Oh, no. Uh, hey! Come back! Oi, come back! Whew. Okay. I don't hear anything. I think I'm all right. I don't 
Freddy's okay. She'd better be. First things first, how do I do this? Where do I even start? Calliope must have been here. She could have stood in this very spot. Maybe if I just... focus. TGCM. Non. TGCD, Jean. Oui, c'est ça. <rire> TGCD. <sighs> yeah, it's weird. Like, I've definitely been here before. Don't get any feeling from that. Will I know it when I see it? Is that a weapon? A musical instrument? Ce serait pas tous les trucs hmm. des dieux qui ont disparu. Maybe it's both. Jim. Is this an armory too? I should really charge for toys. Oh, je sais, Athena, elle a pas disparu amazing. encore. Ah, ouais. La même chose. Malheureusement. I don't even know what language that is. Freddy, are you bon, out bon there? Break. Can you hear me? What am I doing? All that'll do is tell everyone where I am. Shouldn't that be in a museum somewhere? Okay, en fait, on va tout regarder une fois qu'on aura fini de dire en fait autre chose. Pas, voilà. This is it. Calliope was here. She was standing right here. And she. Uh, hello. Do you work for Hecate? Are you guardians or something? Okay then. T'es une chanteuse. What's happening? Why didn't it work? Parce que je pense qu'ils sont pas humains.
first blood. Il fallait une preuve. Je peux leur ramener Freddy maintenant. Oh God, Freddy. Oh non. Oh Grace. You summoned the Furies. What? Those beings were the Furies. Beyond all our laws. Not idols, but the embodiment of retribution. How did you draw them here? I didn't. There was a, a big mirror, but I... I didn't even touch it. There is only one mirror of which you could be speaking. That used by the goddess Nyx to contact the fates. Using the mirror would not have brought the Furies down upon you. Not unless the fates themselves decreed it. Who are the fates? Who are the Furies? I, I didn't do anything! I didn't touch anything! This was no defense or spell of the reliquaries. I do not have the power to summon the Furies, and I know none who do. You should consider yourself fortunate, Grace. They do not desist until retribution has been exacted. But now is when you leave. Pray the knowledge you obtained was worth the price. Apollo, there has to be something we can do. Grace, I'm so sorry. No! It's not right! We have to leave. We have to leave now. Père. Le meilleur perso. Carrément quoi. Grace, I'm, I'm sorry. I know what Freddy meant to you. We left her there. I can't believe we left her there. We couldn't have taken her with us. Hecate will. She'll take care of her. I should be taking care of her. Grayson. Is that what happened to Calliope? Was she attacked by the Furies as you were? Yeah. She meant to use the mirror, but she never had the chance before... ...before they came. The Furies. Sent by the same person, I imagine. Maintenant, il faut trouver qui peut envoyer les furies. Who could send the furies after me? Even Hecate had no idea who possessed that kind of power. Even in our prime, none of the idols had the furies at our beck and call. Perhaps Zeus, but he's long gone. I honestly didn't know the furies still existed. Clearly, someone can do it. I mean. Unless they weren't sent, unless they were responding to something else, something you'd done unwittingly. I'm sorry, I, I'm afraid your guess is as good as mine. I know Calliope was there to use the mirror, but it was this feeling. I don't... I still don't understand why. Well, apparently she wanted to speak to the fates. Yeah, okay, but why? The Fates are primordial beings, like the Furies. They're said to control destiny. Perhaps Calliope wished to know her destiny. Or change it. I'm not sure. Can these Fates really control the future? They're tied into fate, as I am. Perhaps they're even where my power stems from, or how Hecate's books are written. So someone really didn't want Calliope messing with that. Or you, apparently. Could it have been the fates? Maybe they don't like being called on now for anything. I doubt it. If they didn't want to answer the mayor, I'm certain they simply wouldn't. 
But if the fairies are so powerful, why did they stop? They just... stabbed Freddy and left. They're not assassins, Grace. Allez, le gros, ça, vu ça? ...of the old laws. I imagine they decided the debt was paid, whatever it was, when blood was spilled. The blood didn't have to be yours. So if Freddy hadn't interfered... Then they would have come after you. And they wouldn't have stopped until they were through. Not ever. What are the Furies? They didn't seem like people. They're not. Hecate called them embodiments of retribution, and I suppose that's the best description. They go back to... <laughs> well, the time before my memory. I was once told they were created to enforce the most ancient laws. There are ancient laws now? Decrees one couldn't break, written in blood. Laws even idols abided by in the days of old Olympus. But those surely died with Zeus. Even if they hadn't, <laughs> you can't have broken any. They're not easy to overlook. I don't know what to do. We still have no idea why Calliope wanted to talk to the Fates. Why not ask them? <laughs> you too have caused quite the stir. Hecate is beside herself and Athena is out of her mind. Well done. How long have you been listening? Long enough to know that you need another way to speak to the Fates, unless you're planning on trying the Reliquary again. No, not a chance. We'll find the truth on our own, Persephone. <laughs> if you sent Grace to wander about looking for Calliope's memories, you're already out of options. Wait, what? what's this about some other way? What are you talking about, Persephone? May I explain it to Grace, or do you have another option, Apollo? If so, now's the time. I thought not. The Fates will respond to the ruler of Hades, the true underworld and realm of the dead. What I propose is that we go there and take back the throne that was stripped from me. Okay. Is Apollo right? Is this something you planned all along, Persephone? Meaning what? What, that I knew what would occur at the reliquary? Perhaps you think I'm the one who unleashed the Furies upon you. You've waited for this opportunity for over a century. Waited, yes. Bided my time. And the moment has arrived. But you came here to help, right? And I came here to help. <laughs> How do we get to Hades? Do we need a key like the reliquary? Athena took my key, and the entrance at Lake Avernus was sealed long ago, which leaves only Hermes. They won't take you. They might, if you ask them to. So your promise to help Grace was an empty one? Step up, for once, and do what she needs you to do. Get us there. I'll lead us to the throne, and Grace can speak with the fates. It's simple. Is that something we can do? Just go to the land of the dead and, uh, overthrow it? Truth be told, there isn't much to overthrow. Few mortals still believe in Hades, and thus, its halls have been nearly empty for eons. So how do you... The throne itself is the key, both symbolically and literally. Claim it, and Hades is yours. But you can't claim it because you're barred from Hades. By a rule that we would need to break were we to do this, yes. So if we go to Hades and, uh, find your throne, how much trouble would that get us into, exactly? A great deal. It's not Simply. as if Athena could execute Grace a second time. But she's already been warned about breaking more rules. The responsibility of this will be mine. Let Athena try to take my throne again. Oh, okay. No need to keep selling me on it. I'm in. You are? Yeah. I need to punch something really hard. Or 
Overthrow hell, I'm good with either of those things. Did you see that, Apollo? You see, that is what a backbone looks like. I can't. I'm sorry, but this is a step too far. And consider this, Apollo. Grace's mortal friend was slain by the Furies. According to the old laws, her soul is in Hades. Hold on, wait. What does that mean? If her soul is in Hades... It means the ruler of Hades can release her. That's assuming everything remained as it was. Fine. I'll get you into Hades. But I'm not going with you. Allez, on va sauver. You prefer, by all Just... means. Let's find Hermes. Get this over with. Shall I wait here, or...? No, no. I'm not gonna lie to them. Hermes has always treated me fairly. Oh, hey, if it isn't Apollo and Grace, and, um, Persephone. Wow, uh, the whole gang, huh? I'm afraid I have to call in that favor. I need you to take Grace and Persephone to Hades. Oh, man, I don't know. Athena specifically said I wasn't supposed to take anyone, you know? No matter what. Oh, this is pointless. They're never gonna help us, Apollo. Can I ask what's going on? Nobody ever tells me anything, and you want me to get in huge trouble, but for what? It's the only way to find out why Calliope was trying to contact the Fates. The Fates? There's something going on, Hermes. I'm at the edge of it, but without the Fates, I'll never know the truth. And that means going to Hades, with or without Athena's permission. Okay. Par le coffre. J'aime bien. Signal when you need to come back. You sure? Yeah. Feels like the right thing. Be careful, Grace. And remember, the underworld doesn't give up its shades without a price. I think I can tell her the rules, Apollo. Let's go. Welcome to the real underworld. Ah oui, c'est... C'est moins enflammé que ce que je pensais. C'est comme dans Abyss. C'est pas faux. J'avais pas vu ça comme ça. Merci, c'est faux. It feels so empty. So lonely. It's not completely empty. Neither is the throne, for that matter. A bitter shade named Orpheus has been squatting on it since my exile. I fully expect he'll be waiting for us. Who is this Orpheus? The name sounds familiar. It should. His is a popular tale among mortals, regarding how he once came to the underworld to retrieve his love, Eurydice, and left with nothing. <laughs> Hades tricked him, you see. And with Hades dead, the blame has evidently fallen to me. So he's not a fan of yours? <laughs> he is not a fan, no. Not that it matters. You didn't think to mention earlier that the throne was occupied? Because it's irrelevant. Orpheus isn't an idol. He's just an angry little man clinging to an existence that doesn't fail. want him any longer. <laughs> and what are we supposed to do? Organize an armed resistance? Challenge him to a duel? That's what you're here for. I'm gonna fight him? <laughs> oh, you'll see. So there's gonna be a fight? Good. I need something to punch. Uh, don't get too excited, Grace. Orpheus is hardly a worthy foe. Really? Even though he took your throne? Uh, he took an empty throne after I left. That does not make him a king. Just someone else that's in my way. In in go. our way, you mean? Yes, in our way. Oh, 
Okay, so there's an angry ghost sitting on your throne. Anything else about this trip you've neglected to mention? Come. It's time to cross the sticks. Elle est quand même vachement têtue de vouloir reprendre un, un trône d'un truc complètement vide. The ferryman will come soon. As we are not dead, you will need to convince him you are worthy of passage. State your case clearly and with determination. I am Persephone, also known as Despoina and Core Sotiera, once queen of the underworld, and shall be again. No, Corone, I did not bring you any cards. I am not here to entertain you. My name is Grace, also known as... Grace, I'm here to, uh, help Persephone regain her throne. Why else? Did you assume I went on holiday? I'm glad you think so, but I wasn't relaxing, and I'm certainly not about to start. No, no, she didn't. Neither of us brought games to play with you, Caron. Stop asking. Oh, I'm sure we can come up with something to amuse him. <laughs> See? You don't even need to interpret that for me. Yes, what fun. Thank you for encouraging him. I wouldn't touch that Way too much for you Overload you Blow a fuse Every story Every memory Winds up Freddy, too. I killed the king fair and square. They had no right to take it from me. I don't know much about suffering. You've seen your life disappear. I lost a friend. If I could find her again, that's why I.
there's music floating through someone's coming and it has me singing too we have visitors i think we all know what to do to the throne room this bard's about to meet a muse singing with us that would be orpheus is he a muse oh he's so much more than that someone's we coming. might have a problem a wolf is waiting in the this tomb. bard's already someone's dead coming. but you can defeat him i can feel them howling at the with my moon. help forget why we came here there's a name here i won't forget that reeks but you of can bet enemy. he knows someone's coming, coming. I've been what happened to the music? <laughs> I have been waiting for you, Persephone, for so long. And you brought a muse. Hi. Lovely tune, by the way. I can't remember the last time I collaborated with someone so talented. No offense, Kevin. Hey. Welcome. <laughs> To my underworld. Let me treat you to a song, a welcome gift. I have the floor, it is mine, after all. Muse, any requests? Questions? What's your problem with Persephone? Do, 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 loop it. Do, do, do. I didn't do what I was told, didn't know that it was all a game. I didn't think that he would do it. Then Eurydice was gone. And Persephone stood right beside him and said, what a shame. He was always going to kill her and you knew it. And I never got to have my revenge. Bonne nuit Rosa, bon courage avec le chien Throne doesn't belong to you, and you know it. If I didn't do what I was told, I'd be dragged across the palace floor. Hades. 
these can't hurt us anymore and you really see still on oh when it's worth you my apology but i assure you nothing more for deep down you know that there's no turn my back I won't turn my back on you I had forgotten how sweet a melody could be such thoughts become clouded in this place Forgive me, my lady of the night. An empty chair for an empty kingdom. Still think it's worth taking? I do, actually. I can only hope that somewhere Hades can see me sitting on his chair. I'm guessing now's when you break the bad news, am I right? You knew? I suspected. Now I know. I'd still like to hear it, though. I lied. Even if we could find Freddy, you couldn't bring her back. The laws of death are not so easily circumvented. And the fates? They will not help you or anyone. Even if you could speak to them, they will not care. And never have. You lied. To me? To Apollo? To Hermes? I thought it such a small transgression to regain this throne. Super, tout I would have said anything. That's it then. We came here for nothing. I doubt the fates would have responded even to the mirror, Grace. And the boundaries of death cannot be commanded away. Not even by the ruler of Hades. Which you weren't gonna share. Not while you still had a shot at sticking it to Hades. At the very least, I had hoped we might find your friend's spirit. Why? We can't bring her back. Not without great sacrifice, no. No, the rules of death are clear. Yet, you might have spoken to her. I... I know what it's like not to get the chance to say goodbye. Hey. <laughs> ah, I thought she was going through. Freddy, you're here. Yeah. Yeah. I've actually been watching you since you arrived. It's not like there's much else going on. <laughs> Fred, I... No, no. Don't even start, Grace. I made my decision. I don't regret it one bit. But you sacrificed yourself. For me. Well, yeah. I'd do anything for you, Grace. Hey, hey. What was the alternative? I let the Furies kill you instead? That's not how the story ends. This isn't a story, Fred. <sighs> You're wrong. It is a story. 
And you need to finish it without me. Hey, hey, no. I guess this is it, huh? Almost. I found someone while I was down here. Someone you really need to. Ah, putain. This, you, you can't be real. Your soul is inside Grace. I My just don't... eye alone is inside Grace. The rest of me, I'm here, Persephone. This is real. I uh, guess you two were better acquainted than you said, huh, Persephone? We parted ways years ago. Persephone couldn't take my lectures any longer. I'd take them now. I miss them. No, you don't. Think about how bitterly we argued at the end. Don't blame yourself. Not when there are so many fond memories to cherish instead. I, I don't get it. I thought the Eidolon was Calliope's soul. But if that's true, then... The Eidolon is what makes us an idol, but it's not our soul. Each of us adds a piece to it as it passes on. But what about the memories? The memories are but a reflection. And after the Eidolon is passed on, old memories become a reflection of a reflection. It's why the idols have forgotten so much. You knew this truth once, Persephone. C'est pour ça que. Long ago. Vous dites elle oublie au fur et à mesure ce qui s'est passé, quoi. We need to know what happened to you, Calliope. How did you die? Why didn't you come to me? If you were in trouble, I would have protected you. I know you would have, but I couldn't let you be drawn into Apollo's prophecy as well. Apollo's prophecy? He didn't tell you? No, I don't suppose he could have. It's a long story. You don't mean to say that Apollo is responsible for your death, right? But his prophecy is. Yes. It said I needed to die. Someone else knew about the prophecy. Athena. No. Then she sent the Furies after me when I went to the reliquary. I barely escaped. I fled back to the mortal world. To you. Why come to me? Of all the places you could have run to, why come to my apartment? Because I was dying. I couldn't save you. I barely even knew you. I was wandering the streets that night, wondering if I should go to the reliquary or just flee. And I heard you singing. I followed you home after to see where you lived. I didn't know what would happen to me, but I thought, just in case, I knew I had to hold out until I reached you. I wish you hadn't. You didn't give me any choice. I wanted to. I thought I would at least have time to explain. Yeah, I... I probably wouldn't have believed you. The Furies, they... They kept coming. It was all I could do just to reach you. I am so sorry, Grace. I tried to find out for it to be like this. Why did you go to the reliquary? We know about the mirror, but you wanted to annul the prophecy. And the fates are the only ones who could, if they would even help me. I doubted it, but I was desperate. I never got the chance to ask. 
Someone told Athena where I was going, and she must have realized what I meant to do. But uh, how did she get the Furies to attack you? They aren't pets. You didn't break any of the old laws. I don't know. Maybe it's something the ruler of the idols can do. But you'd have to ask Athena. Apollo hates using his power. Why would he have given a prophecy to Athena? Because she demanded it. She was desperate. How did you even find out? Apollo was horrified after he delivered the prophecy, and he refused to stay silent. And he came to warn me. He was torn. Telling me meant I was locked into it. I still think he did the right thing. Though I expect he disagrees. What was the prophecy? Surely I need to hear it. If I tell you, you'll be locked into it. Just like me. But the prophecy doesn't just say you have to die. There's more to it, right? They always require interpretation. Apollo told Athena that. He begged her not to jump to conclusions, but maybe she was right. It doesn't just involve you, does it? It involves me. It must, or you wouldn't hesitate. <sighs> Athena wanted to know if there was a way to save the idols. The answer was this. The idols cannot continue so long voilà. as the Pour last muse tuer. lives. And I'm the last muse. And now you know the prophecy. You went to Pan for the key to the reliquary, right? Yes. He's the reason I knew about Nix's mirror, actually. He told me about it long ago. He told Medusa where you went. She, I expect, told Athena. Oh, Pan couldn't have known what it would mean. I didn't explain. That's it. You forgive him, just like that. I'm sure he feels guilty enough, my love. Athena's gonna pay for this. She will pay. She wanted to save the idols. And I wanted that too. You weren't about to kill anyone to get it. J'ai cru qu'elle allait s'asseoir sur le trône. I have to go back. I have no idea what will happen. None of this seems real. Un décalage. Les sous-titres et euh, chant. And 
Vous pouvez la sauver Oui. Ah putain, on était sûr, c'est que la choix rouge. And I see Freddy isn't with you. I'm so sorry, Grace. Did you at least get to speak to the Fates? No. Then what happened? Moi, je vais arrêter là. Sinon, je passe la nuit dessus. Et voilà. Bon, j'aime toujours autant ce jeu. Pas à dire. Je le trouve super. Du coup, on continue la semaine prochaine, c'est pas. Oui, c'est fini. Mmh. On, fait... on le finira la semaine prochaine. C'est le dernier jour qui te restait, quoi, quand même. Donc. Ah oui, non. il me reste qu'un jour, donc on le finira rapidement, quoi. Tu penses qu'il reste combien de temps, là euh... Une demi-heure, trois quarts d'heure. Ouais, donc du coup, ouais, donc je peux pas.